We're just gonna sit right here, okay? Whatever the f you want. Oh, uh, Velma, there's there's no smoke in here. Does it look like I get a schooly dooly f? Alright, f it. Let's get this over with. I mean, yeah, we were a bunch of crazy kids. We saw one mystery and that just kind of led into the next. Uh, can I get a club soda? With, like a lot of ice? Was it my original idea? Uh, yes. Velma, she did a lot of the paperwork stuff. But it was my brainchild. Whatever he said is probably complete horseshit. Fred just wanted to get high with Shaggy in weird places, and we stumbled upon the shadiest of operations. Bank frauds, jewel thieves, drug cartels, you name it. We f***ing meddled in it, bitch. That's how we met Shaggy, by the way. He was Fred's pot dealer. Not gonna hear that anywhere else. <laughs> Look, I used to be really good at that. What's my favorite part of Mr. Ink, Mr. Rogers? Like, the buffet, man. So when you guys weren't mystery hunting, what was your downtime like? <laughs> I was student teaching. We were up every night with those goddamn mysteries. I had to prep my syllabus while negotiating a hostage deal for Daphne because that danger-prone bitch couldn't help but get kidnapped every goddamn day. How did you get through it? I picked up some bad habits. What the? Get the f How did you meet Daphne? Fred wanted to get her pants off. Are you that surprised? So, Miss Blake, should we get... How far did you get? Probably two minutes before you realize that she's more boring than Fred trying on ascots at the mall. Think we can get this interview done early if I give you a Scooby snack? Speaking of Scooby, where is he? Shaggy was cooked and, and let Scooby drive one night. One sandwich of Kush later and the car was totaled. I never forgave Shaggy after that. I'm sorry. I know it's big up here. I will never find a car like that again. The mystery machine it meant everything to me. I'm... Shaggy was never the same after that. We had to do something. Hey! <laughs> oh, Come on! It was Fred's idea. It was my idea. So, you work here often? Yeah. I'm Dan, Salt Monster Extraordinaire. Is this thing on? Is it, is it, okay. Hola, amigos. I'm Dan, also known as the Swamp Monster. But you can call me Scooby Two.
After being caught by those meddling kids, Velma hired me to act like Scooby so they didn't have to break the news to Shaggy. That was two years ago. The fuck? Come on, gang. I think the monster went into old man Leland's house. Yes, Fred. Let's go into the obviously spooked house. Golly, Fred, I'm frightened. Kill me now. Blake, G Scoob, I hope we don't get brutally murdered in there. <laughs> uh, Fred, like, can I be the one to unmask the monster this time? Yeah, sure. <gasps> Richie, Richie Leland, Leland Jr. Jr. Yeah, yeah, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids and your dumb dog. Hey, you want to get slapped, bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeepers, gang. Do you realize this is our 300th mystery? Like, zoinks! Really, Fred? Yeah, Shaggy. In fact... No! No! I'm not f***ing doing this anymore! Velma, don't Shut the f*** up, Fred! You and your dumb f***ing ascots, we all know you only wear them to hide the hickeys you get from this hussy. Hey! Hey is for horses, you dumb f SAT scores be damned, bitch! Oh. Don't look at me like that! We've been doing this for two years! Two fucking years! We had not one, but two movies made about us starring Buffy the Vampire Bitch! Scooby died, Shaggy. This motherfucker's been pretending. What's up? What? Shut the fuck up, Dan! Fred ran over Scooby! Come on, you don't have to oh. Fred! No! F you all! V-Money is out! Jinkies this bitch! Fred, is, I'm sorry, man. Is no it true? Joke. Obviously not. Don't, don't worry about it. Scooby's dead?